is Sunday afternoon and I am about to get a little weightlifting CrossFit workout in. This morning I got a light ride in. Now I'm gonna warm up on the rower for about five minutes and then I'm jumping into a workout called the Dirty 30, which is a bunch of movements from pull-ups to burpees to wall balls and deadlifts and presses and kettlebells, box jumps, a bunch of movements, 30 reps each, and it ends with 100 double unders with a jump rope. This is gonna hurt. Warm-up is done, now we get into the workout, the dirty 30, 30 box jumps, 30 chest to bar pull up, 30 kettlebell swing, 30 front squats, 30 toes to bar, 30 push press, 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 30 deadlifts, 30 wall balls, 30 burpees, 100 double unders. Okay, I'm sweating. Ah. That is a brutal workout. I did not time it, so I'm not sure how long it took. I really, because I haven't been training like this in a long time, I'm really being somewhat careful, going hard, but the last thing I wanna do is get injured before starting marathon training because tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., it's day one of marathon training. Boston qualification training, Santa Rosa. I'm shooting for a 305 to 307 is what I wanna run, which means I really, really, really need to be running in that 7, 705. But now, I think the kids are working on some sort of science project in the house. We have made cookies this morning. We made a fort outside. Now, I'm gonna go in Get something to eat. Leaves, because the trees have a lot of leaves in the summertime. Mm -hmm. How many have you eaten? Zero. How much frosting did you eat? So our friend is just launching a custom made to order, cookies, cakes, baked goods, all of that stuff. She made these really cool cookie making kits that came with all the frosting and the cookies were made already and the kids could make the cookies. It's called Primrose Pastry. I'll put a link below if you're interested. We're all stuck at home. She'll ship them out to you and your kids can decorate them. It is Monday morning. It is the first day of marathon training. Today, doing some repeats, 60 minute workout, just starting to get the legs speed up. Not a crazy speed workout, just getting the turnover up by running for 30 seconds and off for 30 seconds. So, see how I feel. I get a lot of people who ask about the headbands I wear. Started wearing them about a year ago, just uh, mainly when I was training indoors because just sweating so much being indoors, not having that wind on you. Uh, I don't really wear them outdoors as much. Mainly I wear my Head Sweats hats when I'm outdoors, just covering my face. But Junk is the name of the brand, Junk Brands. You can look that up, J-U-N-K. They've got, I swear, thousands of different designs. I just like them because they really do help with 
keeping the sweat out of my eyes when I'm running or on the bike trainer. Let the flame fill the night when we touch and we ignite. Let the flame fill the night when we light up the sky. Stumbling. That is it. That was basically 60 minutes, 30 minutes of warm up, warm down, and then a bunch of repeats. Running at 5.33 to a 5.43 pace on, off, and when I'm off, I'm completely off the treadmill, so a one-to-one -one rest ratio, and finish up with a 7.03 kind of warm down, and then a little bit of walking. So working hard and then running that last 10 minutes at my marathon pace, essentially, that I want to run. <sighs> Felt good. I am uh, I'm burning up today. It's Monday. Back to work. I'm actually working from home today. I feel there are going to be some major, major keys for me to be successful in this round of training and achieving a Boston qualifier time of a 305, 307. <sighs> but I'm going to get cleaned up, get some food, do some work, then we'll talk about that. It is the end of Monday, day one of a 22 week marathon training plan. <sighs> About to go out and take the kids out on a bike ride just to get them out of the house a little bit, homeschooling all day today. Before I go, I wanted to leave you with four things that I think are going to be really key for me to be successful in achieving my goal of qualifying for the Boston Marathon in August at Santa Rosa. Number one is sticking to the plan. I am notorious for adding a workout here, going a little harder than I probably should, and just trying to squeeze in some extra stuff, and I can't do that. I have a plan, I need to follow it, focus on it. Easy days, easy days are easy days. That is one of the things I always tend to push the easy days a little harder than I should, and I really need to focus on running, at a rate that I can have a conversation or sing a song and it may not be as fast as I want it to be, but I need to focus on those easy days being easy days. So that way, when the hard days are there and they're programmed, I am recovered and I'm ready to run hard. So that is going to be number one, sticking to the plan. Number two is diet and hydration. I have gotta say, with training for the 200 miler, I have been able to let my diet slip a little, eat a little more than I should have, eat some junk food, enjoy a little bit more wine than I probably should be drinking, and it really hasn't affected me. But as I cut back on the training and I add more rest in, I'm gonna be focused on my diet, cutting the carbs back except for around my workouts and then kind of dialing those back through the day, focused on my protein, good healthy proteins, fruits and vegetables, and then hydration. I, I constantly am saying I am gonna hydrate more, and then I don't. So I really wanna focus on hydration. So number two, diet, hydration, get those back in check. 
Number three, I'm gonna call recovery. And what I mean by that is getting my foam rolling in, getting on the ball, rolling the legs out, stretching, stretching after every workout. Uh, that's one of those things that I drop the ball on. I get done working out, I push my workout to the max as long as I can, and then boom, hop in the shower, grab something to eat, off to work. I'm not stretching, I'm not rolling, I'm not doing the things that I should be. And I really think that is gonna be key to me being able to run hard on the days that are hard, recover, feel healthy, and avoid injury. Number four, I'm gonna say is rest. I don't get enough rest. I know it. I go to bed a little later than I want to. Try and go to bed by nine, but sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 10.30. I'm getting up at four. I need to focus on trying to get eight hours of sleep every night. And if I can squeeze in a nap here and there or get my legs up, disconnect, relax a little bit, just try and get some more rest. And that is gonna be number four. I'm sure there are more, but those are the top four that came to mind this morning as I was just really thinking about what do I need to focus on immediately and get that dialed in. And then as I progress, I'll add some more things. But those four things, that's it. I'm headed out for a ride with the girls. I'm not running today. I'm actually going to ride my beach cruiser. I'm not gonna fit that extra three mile run in that I could do at running hard because she's riding her bike. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna ride the beach cruiser. But I hope you guys are doing well. I know we're all locked inside and avoiding people, social distancing. It can be, it can be a drag. It can cause extra stress mentally. It can wear you down. My biggest thing I am trying to do is focus on the future, less news, less negativity, focus on something I can control, and that is my health, my diet, my nutrition, a race that I wanna do, spending time with my family, quality time. Find something you can control, take control of that, and try not to focus on the negative so much. I will talk to you guys later this week.